Okay, if you use OpenSea and you've bought some ENS names in the past, you may have encountered a question mark in your profile and you'll say, what does that mean? You can click here and, and try to see, but it'll just take you, I'll open this in a new tab. It just takes you right to the ens.domains page where you buy them in the first place. And it doesn't easily fix if you refresh it, refresh the page. But if you know what the name is already, you can just click here, type in the name. And if you type in Chris and it's not Chris and you hit submit, it's not going to work because it knows that that's not right. But anybody can come here to this page. This is not even my, I don't own this. It's not my page, um, but I can click here and I can fix it if I want to. So you can fix other people's if you want to. If you're a good person and you feel like doing it, hey, be a nice guy. Be a nice girl. Either way. So if you do not know what the name is and you, so I can guess three or four times too. If you only have three or four, you can just guess and you'll get it eventually and then guess on the other two and you'll fix all of them pretty quickly. But if you do not know what the name is or you're trying to help somebody else, like I am right here and I have no idea what this name is, copy this hash right here. And here are the 10 steps, roughly it's 10 clicks, more than 10 steps. Um, go to etherscan.io and then we're going to hover over ENS lookup. So let's open up a new tab, go to etherscan.io. This is just the blockchain for Ethereum and it shows the tokens too and transactions. So we'll be able to look up the hash. So if you just come here and try to paste this hash, this is one of the reasons people are having trouble because it doesn't easily show up. You need to come over here and hover over more and then come down here and hit ENS lookup. And if you want to just remember ENS lookup after etherscan.io, that's what we're at right here. So you can see you can enter your name or you can enter the hash. So let's paste the hash right here and hit enter. And you come up with this transaction right here that was placed a while ago. Let's go back to the Word doc. We have already seen where it is. We have been to Etherscan. We looked up the ENS and we pasted the hash and we hit search. Now we need to click on that transaction link that we just saw and scroll down and click more. And then we'll be on step six. So this is a transaction hash right here, related transactions. This is when it was registered. And you come to this goofy looking page. Don't worry about any of it. Scroll right down, click more. And you're looking for this nice looking data box right here. Now that we found it, we're going to click decode. And right here, I believe that's number six. Click more, number seven, decode. We're about to click that right now and then copy the name data. So let's do that. And then we're going back to OpenSea. So decode input data. And look at that. That's what this is. Ethereum founder. Not a bad name. Pretty long, but not a bad name. So copy that. I just hit copy on that. Now let's go back to the name that it is right here. We already clicked here. We didn't know what it was. We can't see it here. We can't see it here. We, we can't see this name at all. I know the name. We already did Chris and it didn't work. Ethereum founder. Oh, look, it's already green. Let's hope this works. I didn't try this before the video, so let's see how this goes. It's a match. So we found it on the blockchain. It shows what it is. Uh, we copied it from right here and then we went back. We clicked, I know the name and look at what it is now. Awesome. This guy right here had a couple question marks, I believe, in his Ethereum name. So you just come here to your profile, scroll down. Oh, there's another one. No, that's the one we just fixed. So it hasn't changed in his profile yet. Perhaps we need to refresh that, but that should change pretty quickly too. Because OpenSea is pulling the information from the same spot. Oh, it's not showing up just yet. Let's do another one. Well, does he have any more? Here. I know this is a he, by the way. This is uh, Cliff. He's a good guy. He's in Somnium Space. Somnium Space is another great NFT. Okay, so this one's missing too. I know the name. It's not going to be Ethereum Foundry this time. Let's submit. It's not a match. Okay, doesn't work. Let's copy this hash. can go pretty quick when you know how to do it. You don't have to keep looking at the steps. Come back up here to the top. We need to click over more. ENS lookup type in the hash, enter, click on the transaction, scroll down, click more, scroll down to that ugly box, but it's so beautiful if you're a programmer. Cliff, I told you his name was Cliff, here we go. Clifford, okay, let's fix this one for him too, paste, and it should be a match because that is the blockchain.
There we go. Simple as that. Like I said, there's no transaction fee. There's no um, signing anything. You can just come here and do it for anyone else. Um, it doesn't need to connect to your wallet to do this. You don't have to be signed in or anything to uh, be able to figure this out. Click on it, and I fixed two of them already. So now that he watches this video, he can go and fix that last one. Understand how to do it and possibly help someone else that asks that question because you know people will ask this question again a few more times. So hopefully this video helps everyone.